If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how note-taking can improve performance, specifically by using a question code. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the powerful next-generation note-taking and planning technique. For the past 20 years, I've been helping people manage knowledge more effectively. And as always, um, here I've used a smart wisdom plan to make sure I stay on point. So how can something as simple as, an, as a code for questions make such a difference? Well, later on in the video, I'll explain why this simple code can actually give you a competitive edge over people in the same meeting or interview or presentation who are sitting and listening, and also people who are using laptops. And if you're a professional who uses note-taking, then this easy to use technique will add some real value for you. So where did I come from? I came from a position where my notes weren't very legible anyway, but I didn't have any specific methodology for capturing questions. And because of that, I sort of did various things, but quite often what I would do is if I was writing along here, writing along, and then there was a question, I'd probably break a line, I might put Q or something, and then actually write out part of the question. And by the time I'd written out part of the question, then the speaker had obviously carried on speaking. I would then start to not be able to listen to what they were saying because I was busy writing this. I would start to get a bit lost and it was all a bit uncomfortable. And often I'd usually have, I don't know, two, three, maybe four sheets of paper and trying to flip between all these and finding these questions, really tricky. So the solution I came up with um, was really simple. Now as an information athlete, I know there are some key things when coming up with a code for uh, helping us manage knowledge. The first one is speed. It must be really fast to do, fast to find. The next one is got to look professional. You know, for me working with others, the key thing is to look professional. And finally, it must have really good um, and be really clear to enable glance access. So that's the ability to find knowledge at speed when you're working with someone real time. So drum roll, what is this magical code? It's really simple, actually so simple, you'll probably recognize it, a square. That's it. How can something as simple as that give you a competitive edge and a very compelling competitive edge over other people, particularly people who are listening? And I'll explain that in a little bit. So what I used to do is wherever, um, wherever, the, wherever the word was, I would, if I had a question around this word, I would put in the square box. And then at a later point, um, I'd then leave it. And then if at a later point I wanted to ask the question, and I did, I put a tick in it. So straight away I can see where my questions are and I can see if I've answered it. So for example, if I'm using Smart Wisdom um, and I was with a client and we were talking about, you know, we need a technique. Um, which helps people listen, that helps with listening, and also helps with, uh, let's say, oh, what should, what was it? Uh, we need, uh, sales skills. So I go put skills for sales. Now the conversation carries on, but straight away I'm thinking, well, what exactly do they mean by listening? Now, I don't want to interrupt the conversation, so all I do, and because I use a four color pen, I might switch colors because, again, the color is a, an analytical differentiator, and I'll just put in a square like that. Now, that means that I can capture an hour's worth of knowledge, and if it's not appropriate to, I don't need to interrupt anyone. And I could capture like five, six, seven questions over an hour's period, without actually needing to interrupt. And let's say if there's a, a moment at the end for like three, four minutes where there are questions, very quickly I can scan over all my questions, I can see which ones are relevant and I can answer them. So here's a really good example here. This uh, is a notes from a one hour presentation. You can see there's a lot of knowledge there. If I was using traditional uh, school notes, I'd have taken probably three 
probably two or three pages, but might be too small to see. Even from this angle, I can see very quickly there were some questions. Where else? There's one there, one there. And at the end of this presentation, had a few moments, I was able to scan round, and actually there was a question right back at the beginning, sort of probably, I don't know, about five or six minutes in, which actually I really need to, to ask, and I did, and I was able to. So how does it feel? You know, what's, I mean, well, what's the big benefit of being able to do that? Well, it just feels really professional. And the reason it gives me a competitive edge over particularly people who are listening is that I know when I'm listening, certainly as an information athlete, I know the big restrictor I have is short-term memory. It's, it is short. <laughs> it's only seven plus or minus two uh, chunks of information. So I can't actually physically hold that many questions and I'm trying to hold lots of other things as well. The other big problem with sitting and listening is what they call cognitive load. You know, if I, if I put emphasis on one mental activity, the other ones are gonna drop. So listening is an activity, remembering a question is an activity. If I'm focusing on the memory, it starts to cut the listening. Why does it give me a competitive edge over laptop users? Again, as an information athlete, I know if I'm using a laptop to, uh, to type, the keyboard takes up a lot of cognitive load. So then trying to think of codes and there aren't naturally any natural codes that you can easily access or that you can easily make up off a keyboard. I mean, it is possible, but it takes a bit more effort. So that's a restrictor. And of course, the big restrictor is screen size. I could probably only see about you know, a third, or if I'm lucky, a half the amount of knowledge that's been shared in a one hour meeting. If you are a professional who uses uh, note-taking, whether on paper or on a digital pad, and you like the idea of this code, then please do feel free to use it. It's incredibly fast to use. Um, it's really easy to see over an hour's worth of information, what questions are outstanding, what have been asked. And yeah, by not having to worry about the questions, knowing that you can find them again, literally at a moment's notice, it's a really powerful feeling and it helps you to relax and it helps you to engage more with the people you're working with. Really listen, really try to understand and not be distracted by you know, things like questions. Fantastic. Well, I've uh, covered everything I wanted to cover for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. If you do, please press the like button and of course, always feel free to comment. And if you think any of your you know, friends, clients, colleagues would be interested in this, then please do share. Particularly, you might want to share it with people who just sit and listen and keep asking questions. And the reason they're doing it is because they have the short-term memory. They can't hold the question and listen at the same time. So one of them's got to give. And it's usually the listening and they're going to ask the question. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. Oh, one final thing. Um, I've put together some tips on how to manage information. Uh, if you would like them, then around the screen there on the sides or down below, you will find an easy to click on link to be able to get the free tips. Thank you.